A long time ago, I made a video about the biggest dinosaur, but this time, we'll take a look at the smallest dinosaur. First off, we don't know for sure which is the smallest dinosaur, but there are a few candidates competing for this title. Compsognathus, which was around 3 feet long and weighed 6.5 pounds, claimed the smallest dinosaur title a long time ago, but a few species have been discovered that are way smaller than Compsognathus. The candidates are Mahakala Amnagavi, which was discovered in the Gobi Desert and was around 2 feet long, Macropachycephalosaurus, which was around 2 feet long, and fun fact, Macropachycephalosaurus is the longest dinosaur name, and is also another candidate for this title. Sinangathasha, reaching around 1.9 feet in length, is also another nominee. Paleopteryx Thamsani is around 1.5 feet long, which is even smaller, but Epidexipteryx measures 10 inches without its incomplete tail feathers, and even with the tail feathers included, it measures 1.45 feet in length. Epidexipteryx is estimated to weigh 164 grams, and to put that into perspective, a US nickel weighs 5 grams. If you take around 33 nickels, you have the weight of Epidexipteryx which is to me impressive because it weighs less than half of a pound. The final candidate for this honorable mention is Parbacursor, which measures just 15 inches, which is just two pencils. Parbacursor weighs around 162 grams, which is two grams less than Epidexipteryx. However, because many of these dinosaurs have been found completely, just fragments Many of these lengths and weights are estimates, so we can't say that Parbacursor was the smallest dinosaur conclusively with definite evidence. If we counted birds as the late surviving dinosaurs, a hummingbird would be the smallest dinosaur, reaching up to 2.5 inches in length. So that's it for the video, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.